hello guys i welcome you back to jn graphic tutorial so in this section of tutorial we are going to develop a very nice church flyer so this is what we are actually going to create for today's lessons or today's tutorial so let's quickly get inside and create a very wonderful flyer like this so let's go back and start creating our document so we'll go to our new file and I just want us to set the weight of the flyer to 3000 and the height to 3000. Then we are going to leave the resolution to be 300. Then RGB color. Then uh, let's give it a title as um, Church Program. Like this. Then let's head on and hit on create so this is the background that we are going to use for our today's session of tutorial so before we start anything i just want us to go to view and go to our guides and go to our new guide layout so i just want us to set our guidelines to this format so that we will know that everything that we are doing is just in alignment so we are going to start creating our background so first of all we will go to far and go to place link so guys this is the background these are the resources that we are going to import to make our beautiful flyer so first of all i just want us to quickly import this thing inside then we are going to make sure that it takes the entire background like this very nice and very amazing so we are going to select it and go to our view and go to our caching blur then we will push the radius until we see something like this very nice and very beautiful so this is what actually i just want us to create so after we have bled the background we'll go to this panel and we are going to saturation so i just want us to set this figure to minus 133 then let's put the saturation a little bit forward like this about plus 48 then let's reduce the lightness to about something like this so minus 74 is actually cool so this is actually what i just wanted us to use for our background so after we are done with this we'll go on to far and we are going to place link then we are going to place this important resource so I just want us to push it to the top like this very nice and amazing so we are going to select it and go to our filter and go to our gaussian blur so we will just blur it until we get something like this so about a radius of 138.8 is actually very cool and amazing so after we are done with this we can just expand it a little bit like this until we get something like this very nice and very very amazing so we are going to start importing our resources but we can select this and pick up our eraser and do some little brushing at the down of uh, this resource that we have just imported so i just want us to increase the size of the eraser then we do a little brushing like this very nice and amazing so we can keep on expanding it until we get something like this so this is what actually i just wanted us to do very nice and amazing so after we are done with it we still go to our file and go to our place link then we are going to bring this lightings inside so let's push this one here then we will select the lighting and change the blending option to something like screen very nice and amazing so we will select it and pick our eraser then this time let's reduce the eraser a little bit like this so something like this is actually cool then we will do some small cleanings just around the edges of the lighting something like this then control plus j to duplicate it and we will bring the other one here then we are going to do the same thing the same brushing so let's select it and do this cleanings here 
so this is what actually i just want us to do so we can push this one a little bit to the corner and push this one a little bit to the corner so let's select the lightings and give them some gaussian blur so oh the gaussian blur is too much so let's control plus z to undo it so let's go to filter and go to blur and go to our gaussian blur and blur it a little bit like this so let's blend it a little bit so to about 10 a radius of 10 so let's select this one and do the same thing to it so this is what actually i just want us to do very nice and very very amazing so after we are done with this we can go on and be importing our resources so let's go to far and go to our place link so we are going to place this link first very nice and very amazing so we will actually pull it to the top here so let's expand it a little bit like this so this is what we actually want to create very nice and very amazing so i can select it and pick up my brush and do some little cleaning at the bottom of the image that i have bring inside so let's set the brush to 900 and let's start doing some small cleaning at the down here so let's do something like this and let's go and bring our next resource so i just want to bring this one to inside very nice and amazing so let's reduce it a little bit like this then let's pick our eraser and do some small cleaning at the bottom so let's do it like this very nice and amazing so after we are done with this let's bring our last image then let's start doing some adjustment with the images that we have just brought inside so I can select the image here and do some little cleaning at the bottom here. Very nice and amazing. So after we are done with this, let's resize the images that we have just brought inside so that we will just get a very beautiful and a very nice flyer that we just want to do so i just want to reduce this image a little bit like this uh, very nice and let's keep on reducing this one to a little bit like this until we get something like this so we can just put this image on his shoulders like this then we can go on and bring this image to a little bit downwards like this so i just want us to create an effect like this very nice and very very amazing so after we are done with this we can select this image and go to our image at the top here and go to our adjustment go to our brightness and contrast so let's move the contrast a little bit forward like this then the brightness a little bit to about 20 so the contrast will be around 58 then our brightness will be around 20 then let's click on ok so let's go on and do the same thing for this image so let's go to our image and go to our adjustment our brightness and our contrast so let's move the contrast a little bit forward like this so that we get something like this so i just want us to and move the brightness a little bit like this so this one too will be about 57 40, 41 then let's do the same thing to this one too so let's select this image and give it the same adjustment so let's pull the contrast a little bit forward until we get something like this then let's pull the brightness a little bit like this 
so this is what actually i just wanted us to do very nice and very amazing so this is what we are having now so we can go on and be importing our resources so let's go to far and go to our place link and bring our main title inside very nice and very amazing so this is what i just wanted us to bring inside so this is how our flyer is looking now so we can go on and be adding some few tests to what we have just done now so let's go and pick our test two and i just want us to bring or type something like us something like this so it should actually be in caps so that it will be very nice and amazing so this is what i just want us to do let's go to adjustments and the test size should be 120 so this is what actually i just wanted us to do very nice and amazing the color of the phone should actually be white and the size should be medium so this is what actually i just wanted us to do so let's push it a little bit downwards here and let's expand it a little bit like this so that we get something like this very nice and very beautiful so we can go on and turn it a little bit so that it will just be in alignment with our main team so let's turn it a little bit like this very nice and amazing so we can keep on um, open it up we can open it up until we get something like this very nice and amazing so let's push it until we get something like this so after we are done with this let's select the us here and let's go to effects and go to our bevel and emboss then let us add some um, bevel and emboss if some effects um, the as that we have just brought inside so I just want us to um, change the start to inner bevel then the technique should be smooth then we should pull the depth to about a thousand then the size should be around 133 then the softness should be around 13 so this is what actually i just want us to do then let's go and click on okay so we can go on and do another typography once again so i just want us to type something like again again so that one should be in caps so again like this then we will select it and make sure that it is actually um, the size of the test is 100 then it is actually um, let's make it a medium font like this very nice and beautiful then let's change the color to be something like yellow so this is what I actually want us to I, I actually want us to do then let's be, bring it closer to the ass and turn it upside or turn it at an angle like this very nice and very beautiful so this is what I actually want us to create so we can go on and be adjusting the angle that we just want it to be very nice and very very amazing so we can keep on adjusting the size of the typography that we have just brought inside so this is what we are having now very nice and very very amazing so after we are done with this we are going to add some few typography to it but before then i just want us to go to our shape balls and pick our rectangle too and i just want us to create some um rectangles here 
like this then we are going to go to the properties then we are going to move this until we get something about um let's make it 69 is actually really cool and very nice so we are going to duplicate this rectangle to two parts so control plus j control plus j then this is what i actually want us to do very nice and very beautiful so control plus j control plus j we are going to get something like this very nice and amazing so we are going to select these rectangles here and we are going to pull that down to the bottom like this very nice and very amazing so this is what i actually wanted us to do very beautiful so in this right angles we are going to import some images inside so let's go on to our file and go to place link and start importing our images so i want to import this image first so we can pick where these rectangles are then i will drag it upon it i will drag it on it then i will just create a clipping mask for this image like this very nice and amazing then we can go on and bring other images also inside so let's bring this one to inside so i i just want to click this um, rectangle then i will just create a clipping mask on it like this very nice and very very amazing so this is what i actually want us to create so we can go on and bring our last image in so I just want to bring this image also inside very powerful image then I will drag it on this rectangle here then I just want to create a clipping mask to it very nice and very amazing so let's reduce this one this to the image is too big so let's reduce it until we get something like this so let's let's reduce it a little bit like this a little bit like this very nice and very amazing so let's give it a very small adjustment so i think it is now looking very cool and beautiful so we can go on and change the rectangle colors so let's make the first one white then we can go on and make the second one also yellow to make it more beautiful and very attractive so let's leave it like this very nice and very very amazing so we can go on and select all this rectangle and reduce the size if we just want to reduce the size so this is what i just want us to do very nice and very very beautiful and we can go on and select all these and hold on ctrl g to group them so that it will be very nice and amazing so we can go on and also group our images our main images also into one group so we can also group this one so let's give it a title as a main pictures main pics then let's give it this one as um, subordinates pics like this very nice and very amazing so after we are done with this it has left for us to add some the dates the place that the program is going on and the key or the time of the program so let's quickly pick our test 2 and start typing so let's type the date 23rd july 2023 20, then let's select it and um let's make sure that it is actually the size of the test is actually 77 something like this so let's make sure that it is 77 
very nice and very amazing so we can pull it a little bit downwards like this then let's go on and type the date or the place of the program so let's type something like temple of glory like this then we can resize it to a size like this then pull it just under the dates like this very nice and amazing and control plus t to duplicate this test then i just want us to type something like um ban ban tema um, kumasi very nice and amazing then let's select it and make sure that it is a regular font then let's make the color white very nice and very very amazing so we can go on and reduce the size of this one a little bit like this let's reduce the size a little bit like this very nice and amazing so after we are done with this we will draw a rectangle just beneath the information a small rectangle like this here then we'll make sure that it is just under the information like this so in this one let's go to our layers and go to our blending option and let's give it a gradient like this a very deep yellow and a very light yellow so we go on and hit on ok so in this rectangle we are going to give the date of the program so let's give the date of the program so 8 p.m sharp so let's select it and make sure that it is actually a very bold and the color is a black font or a black color so we are going to put this one on it like this and we are going to reduce the size a little bit like this very nice and very very beautiful so after we are done with this we are almost done with about 80 percent of the flyer so we are going to our far and place link and we are going to bring our logo for the church so we can reduce the logo to a size like this and bring it on top of the flyer then we are going to type something like um, Kings City Reviver Church so we are going to select it and make sure that it is actually a white color like this then we are going to reduce the size to an extent like this very nice and very very amazing so now we are actually done with almost the flyer so it has left with um, the names of the speakers so let's keep on adding some few typography to um, our text so let's add the names of our speakers so for Mason so let's select it and make sure that it is a regular font then let's reduce the size very very small so to a very small size like this so you can reduce it to an extent like this so I just want to duplicate this Control plus G and bring the same thing here. So I'm going to type on this is wood Anaba very nice and very amazing. So control plus G to also duplicate the same control plus G to duplicate this one. 
then I'm going to bring this one also here then on this one or in this one I'm going to type something like um, carry Walker very nice and amazing so after I'm done with this I just want to duplicate this one and bring it down here and let's change or let's um, put it to an angle like this very nice and very amazing so in this test we are actually going to type as chapter 1 verse 8 something like this very nice and very amazing so we can just increase it a little bit like this or oh, let's increase or oh, let's decrease it a little bit like this very nice and very amazing so this is what we are actually having for this flyer so we can go on and be adjusting um, the images in this flyer so i can select the main pics and adjust them a little bit like this so i can just push them to an a, a place like this then i can adjust the main title to a little bit like this very nice and very very amazing so this is what we actually want to do very nice and very very beautiful so we are actually done with this flyer so i have left all the resources just under the description so you can go on and download all these resources and you can study along this tutorial to do more wonderful tutorials and if you haven't subscribed to this channel i just want you to subscribe to this channel for more amazing content like this so we are going to meet in another session of tutorials Bye-bye.